Representative from Drobborough applaud and we enjoyed your commentary. We played it a few times the following day. Oh, thank, thank you, John. <laughs> so Newcastle <laughs> are facing Manchester City next on Sunday and it appears to be advantage City in the title race after that uh, victory over Manchester United on Monday. The first time, Tony, in three years that Manchester United have not had a shot on target. Were you surprised by their defensive mindset at times? I was. I was, I was surprised by the selection. I, I expected him to go with the three in the middle of the park. But the, the one person I thought he couldn't leave out would be Valencia. And he, if you're going with three up front and three in the middle of the park, you have to have pace, yeah. especially if they're wider players like United. That was a great climb, and it's been a magnificent season for Vincent Company. And he got above, uh, unfortunately, Chris Smalling for that one, 22-year-old lad. He's copped all the flack for it, but these mistakes will happen. And, you know, it just came that he came into that game, Chris Smalling, and... It, 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 it was just difficult for him. He's yeah. going to be a super player, by the way. Mm. But I just think, Sir Alex, if he was going to play that formation and wide players, you've got to have pace and drive the City fullbacks back, and it didn't happen. Well, it was a pressure cooker of an environment. We saw that aggravation between Sir Alex um, and Roberto Mancini. Now, looking ahead to, to the Newcastle game, Newcastle are unbeaten at home this year. Does that back up, back up Mancini's claim that United are still favourites for the title? That City are favourites. I still, I still think City will win it now. I mean, I've, I've been saying United all season, but for the first time, I've got to change my mind, John. But that is a bear pit. Yeah. It's St James's Park or Sports Direct or whatever you call it now. But yeah. St James's Park, it'll always be to me. That is a bear pit of some magnitude. 55,000 Geordies screaming, shouting. Can they handle the occasion? Because Newcastle as well, everybody's saying what the City have got on it, but Newcastle got a great load riding on this one because mm. they're in a position now which they may never ever get in again mm. because that's how you know, competitive the Premier League is and they might have to sell some of their players at the end of the season. The likes of CSA have come to the fore very quickly. So this is a massive, massive game, John. Oh. Well, let's take a look at um, the fixtures. There's, we've looked at the Saturday fixture and the bulk of them are on Sunday. Just talk us through these, Tony. Well, at the top, I'm going to go for a Spurs win because uh, I, I can't see Villa getting anything against Spurs. And I think that maybe the England thing and Harry, it's, it's just taking a little bit of pressure off and Spurs can get on with their game now. Spurs win there. I'm going to go for a West Brom draw at Bolton. That won't help Bolton either. Uh, Fulham yeah. to beat Sunderland. Man United to beat Swansea. Uh, Newcastle City, I've got to go for a City win because I, this is their chance. This is it. This could be the start of many trophies for them. So I'm going to go for a City win. QPR, the game I'm at uh, on Sunday, I fancy QPR to win. They need to win that one and I think they will. And at the bottom, I'll go for an Everton away win at Wolves.